Hey, I see you work hard and shit, right? Would you date a broke woman? Would you Would you date a broke woman? Uh, well, I'm married. Okay. And, uh, my wife has not worked ever since we had our first kid. Oh, really? So, I, uh, I don't really see that as like a, you know, a factor because uh -huh. you can lose your good job. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. money isn't the main factor of why somebody should be here. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> would you, would you, you're very pretty. Would you date a broke man? Would you date a broke oh, man? Yeah, you a date a broke man? Yeah. Fine as you is. Yeah. What? If he ain't got no. Huh? He can't help it. Oh, really? So, what you. Wait, wait, wait. We got to ask this question. I'll see you coming out the bank. What you do? So, I'm an ER tech. Okay. So, but I don't make a lot of money neither. So, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm <laughs> okay, so if he flat broke, you ain't you'll still date him. Yeah, I mean. Hey, man, y'all better get out here and holler at some of these fine women. There's some out here date the broke ones. Thank you. I appreciate it. And you say, and you grab it. Who may ya? Don't call yourself a prophet. Prophet, and will be a little. And don't shut the last one with me. What would be? So, one would be a ultimate. What do you mean? She would just remember that here was I, but you call yourself a prophet. Amen. Amen. What do you have from now? That's what you are doing. Let me know what's going on here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel the best in 2020. 2020. The kitchen that we get when I was The kitchen that we get when I was The church meant that being one one every February, no one more than one billion. has detected a new COVID-19 variant. This isn't something anybody wants to hear. So scientists have named the new strain IHU and found that it has infected 12 people living in southeastern France. Officials found IHU has 46 mutations, even more than Omicron, and has, has been linked to travel to the African country Cameroon. Now, the new strain has not been spotted in other countries, and so far the World Health Organization has not has not labeled it a variant under investigation. Experts say new variants keep emerging, but it does not mean that they will be more dangerous.
Okay, um, roll the yeah, window report down. that. The police still harassing me. I'm, I'm, I am no. fearing for the my life stop right you. now. The police stop you because you don't got a tag. I'm fearing for my life right now. You I'm recording Roll the window down. That's fine. You had the right to record. Roll the window down. Hold on, hold on. You, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. But you... You, why? You failed to stop. I, I didn't have to stop. I was not coming to cry. You have to stop. I was, I was not coming to cry. I don't know why they want me so Get bad. Get out of the car. I was not coming to cry. I'm not going to step out, out of the car. I have no reason to step out the car. Why? Because I need your identification. Oh, okay. I need the paperwork for your vehicle. It, darling, need, that, that's I need it. every bit of that. You, you don't need none of it. Stop her because she don't got a tag. Stop I, I, I'm, I, I'm calling. Man. 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 No, I, I don't have to get out the car. Man. You gotta get out the car. Stop. Uh, stop. Uh, uh, stop. Get back in the car. Uh, uh, stop. 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 You gonna help. Stop. 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 Leave my car alone. Oh, this is bad. story has a lot of people asking, what was she thinking? A mother who's also a teacher at SciFair ISD is accused of putting her 13-year-old son in the trunk of her car because the boy had COVID. She was caught after taking her son to a COVID testing site. Now she's facing charges. Zach Tawatari joins us with this bizarre story. It certainly caught a lot of people's attention. What we know so far is that SciFair ISD says that mother, Sarah Beam, was a teacher here at Cypress Falls High School you see behind me. And now she's on administrative leave and court documents say she has a warrant out for her arrest. Court documents say a 13-year-old was kept in a trunk while his mom went through the Pridgen Stadium COVID testing site in northwest Harris County. The reasoning? She said her son tested positive for COVID and she was trying to prevent herself from being exposed while she went for additional testing. I have never heard of somebody being put in a trunk because they tested positive for anything. Sergeant Richard Standifer is a public information officer for the Department of Public Safety. He says that aside from the optics, there are safety concerns that go along with a decision like this. In the event that the vehicle is in a crash, there's no way to really secure a, a person in a trunk. Namely, a seatbelt, which Standifer says is required by law in a passenger vehicle or passenger truck. According to the court documents, Beam, who SciFair ISD says has been a teacher at Cypress Falls High School and employed by the district since 2011, is being charged with endangering a child. Most of your vehicles are constructed with crumple zones in the front and the rear of the vehicle, so if an individual's in the rear of the vehicle and they're involved in a crash, they're probably at greater risk of being injured. The child was removed from the trunk unharmed, but the district says Beam has been placed on administrative leave and there is a warrant out for her arrest. So if you do come up with an idea like that, it's probably not going to be commissioned with what the law is. Now, we did try to speak with Beam at her home earlier today. We were told she wasn't there. At this time, we don't know if she's in custody or her whereabouts. Zach Tawatari, KHOU 11 News. How's everyone doing out there? For those who do not know, I am King Sherrod. And for those who do know, welcome back. I'm not really sure if I'm going to title this one as, as far as being an episode or label this one as an episode. But this is just me giving you an update as far as what I've been up to and um, just a few things as far as what's going on. You know, definitely was inspired by uh you know one of my uh friends who is subscribed to my channel so definitely want to you know say thank you for the inspiration but nonetheless um you know reason why i took some time off is you know family purposes and you know when you have this information you know when you 
when you know what the truth is, when you have the information that you have, especially when it comes from biblical texts, you have to be careful with giving the information and also how you operate in this world. Now, I'm not going to go and say that I was just straight going straight rogue or anything of that nature, but, um, you know, I felt that I was being kind of hypocritical and not yet set in my right mindset to be bringing forth information to help correct our people when I'm in fact, you know, doing things that I shouldn't be doing. But nonetheless, it wasn't anything, you know, earth shattering or anything of that nature. But at the same time, there's no sin that's greater than the other. It, it, it could have been me just, you know, shoplifting from the store. Not saying that's what it was, not saying that's what it was. But like I said, no, no sin is greater than the other. So regardless of how minuscule it was, it didn't really make me feel, you know, it didn't sit well with me bringing forth information and then not being set right on my own path, right? Because straight and narrow is the way. Broad is the path that leadeth to destruction, right? So everything's fine. Uh, family's good. I'm good. Uh, you know, what I really want to bring forth is if you go back to season one, I'm not sure if it's the last video, but it may be the second to last video where I gave pretty much a prediction of what would happen going forward with this whole, you know, campaign that's that's going on right now. Right. So with that being said, for those who are falling to the pressure for those who are complying they don't know what to do go back to that video watch that video to get a good understanding as far as what's happening now maybe not everything that i said was going to happen happened but a lot of what i said would happen is happening right so i know a lot of people out there are maybe feeling sick right now whatever the situation is listen we as children of God, and even if you're not a child of God, right? And, 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 I'm, and I'm really speaking as far as even if you're not a Hebrew Israelite, if you are, regardless of who you are, let me just say that, you shouldn't fear what man is putting out there. You never fear what man is putting out there. You never fear what man can do to you. You don't fear anything or anybody but the Most High but God, the one who created you. Why fear someone who can only damage your flesh? What you should fear is the individual or the being rather that could take not only your flesh, but also your soul, right? Believe it or not, we all have a soul. And when we die, we all go somewhere. It's not just eternal darkness and, and you have no consciousness no you don't you don't feel your body your physical body that you had on earth but you still feel because your soul is is what actually gives your body life now i know how crazy that may sound and people may not believe it or whatever because a lot of people they believe things for face value you know things that they can see or things that were so-called proven by uh scientists or so-called experts the same experts that are out there telling those who used to be experts are now discredit. They're basically discrediting them now because they're not going against their agenda. So let me just give you what's going, whatever's going on in the world right now. Let me just give you what it is in a nutshell. You understand? They are implement. They, they believe it or not, they are implementing a new world order. They are getting rid of cash, right? Right? Because I'm not sure if a lot of you have noticed, but cash is being hit hold on my bad anyways cash is being hand it, it, cash is just being handed out right left left and right right but with that being said because 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 that that could be a whole episode in itself basically they're gonna get rid of cash and i mentioned this before they're getting rid of cash right they're getting rid of a certain percentage of people as well right so therefore ultimately it could lead up to the mark of the beast right that's pretty much what it is in a nutshell 
They need to get everybody under this campaign and following what they want to happen so therefore they can eventually introduce the Mark of the Beast because what they're gonna do is, and I'll tell you what the Mark of the Beast is for those who haven't watched my episodes or for those who haven't read the Bible because this whole you know uh, juice that's going out that, that, that they're giving everybody that they're so concerned that everyone has, that's not the Mark of the Beast because you can still buy and you can still sell with this, if you were to get this juice that, that they're giving out for free you know, at your local uh, pharmacies or whatever, you know, for those who don't understand what I mean by the juice, right? So that's not the mark of the beast. That's just a segue into the mark of the beast. You understand? Because listen, the mark of the beast itself is the RFID chip. When you can't, if you don't have this, you can't buy or sell. That's what they're, that's what, that's what they're seg segueing everything to. You think this cryptocurrency is oh it, it's it's a new it's new technology it's a new way of spending it's a new way of doing business yeah it is a new way of doing business but it's not it's not it's not for your benefit anything that they put out there that they're dishing out to you is not for your benefit anything that they put out in the news or whatever the situation is it's not to protect you it's not not to say that there aren't people out there who want to protect you or or, or not, not to say that everybody out there is evil, but what I'm saying is everyone who's part of this campaign, who's pushing this whole, you know, sickness thing that's going around, trust me, they either they don't know what's going on or they do know what's going on and they want all of you to, to fall by the wayside. There's too much evidence. There's too much information out there that proves what I'm saying is right. Am I a scientist? No. And, and, do I have crazy credentials or whatever? No, I do not. But at the same time, the, 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 the wisdom of this world is foolish to the most high. I'm not saying I am the most high, of course not. But what I'm saying is, regardless if I have credentials, credentials or not, doesn't mean that my statements aren't credible. You understand? But that's what the world does. The world looks at someone who, oh, what do you mean? You, you you work at a warehouse. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not this. You're not that. All right. Yeah. But I happen to do research and, and I happen to see things that others are actually trying to hide from you. So what I do is I ask myself, if this wasn't true, if, if, if what these people were saying and doing wasn't true, then why cover it up? Because you can't be concerned with people's safety as far as the decisions that they will make. Because if you were so concerned about people's safety and, 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 and worried about what they were going to do as far as their decisions, then you wouldn't have weed dispensaries available. You wouldn't have alcohol available to the people. You wouldn't have cigarettes available to the people. You wouldn't have cars that put toxic fumes available for people to breathe in. You wouldn't have chemtrails in the air. You wouldn't have poison in the food. You wouldn't have poison in pills and and, 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 and all the medicine, not all the medicine, but a good amount of the medicine that's out there. If they really cared about our well-being, they would eliminate about 95% of the things that are out there that are actually harming people. So like I said, in a nutshell, this campaign that's going on, it's a lie. It's to get everybody in check in one line. And if you don't see that, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, right? They, they so, so the mark of the beast, this is the mark of the beast. Like I said, the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, right? And I'm pretty sure whoever's seen a, a Sweden video where they have, they already, Sweden, they already have this RFID chip in them. They're, they're ready to go, right? So the chip, is implemented in your right hand. If you watch a video, you'll see that it's in their hand. If you read Revelation, you'll see the, you, you, you can read the description of the mark of the beast, right? So with, with that being said, right? What, because they're transitioning from getting rid of cash, possibly, well, I'll say eventually getting rid of cards and debit cards and credit cards, then it's gonna be cryptocurrency for a while. And then they're gonna transition cryptocurrency into the mark of the beast. 
because they're going to say, well, this is a much better way for us to handle transactions and, 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 and pretty much to handle handle people's finances. Right. And what they'll say and, and before they completely get rid of money is that it's much safer to handle transactions this way, because rather than handing money to someone or handing credit cards or, or doing transactions like that in person, it, it eliminates the contact. You notice what they did in the beginning, social distancing. You understand? You have to understand this. Uh, and, 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 and I'm going to get right back to you. Fear God, not man. Man is nothing. I don't care how powerful someone is. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what credentials they have. I don't care how much money they have. I don't care how much power they have. They don't have more power than God. They don't. All, all the technology they have, it can only destroy your flesh. Do not worry about your flesh. Am I saying go out there and just be a vigilante and, and, and try to hunt down these people? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is don't stay, stay out of it. As here's, here's the best advice I can give you. Do not can try, try as try as hard as you can to have less contribution to this world as possible. That means Forget their sporting events. Forget their movie theaters. Forget their holidays. Forget forget socializing at all. If you want to go out and have something to eat, fine. If you want to go out and go to an arcade or whatever the situation is, I mean, I understand. But as far as like when when it comes to these huge events with like award shows and you know going in and supporting Hollywood by 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 their major motion picture movies and and, and, and giving them millions and millions upon dollars and then going to the sporting events, giving them millions and millions upon dollars. And even even with the stuff that you buy, right? Limit, have a limit to what to, to how much you contribute to this contribute to this world. When you when you when you eliminate the things that you don't need, right? When you eliminate the things that you just want, you will realize that you have a much peaceful life, not only by eliminating what you don't need, but by getting into that Bible, getting into that truth, understanding who we are as a people, understanding what the truth is, because that's where the truth is. When you have people telling you to, oh, leave that Bible alone and trying to call Hebrew Israelites in a, uh, an extremist group when they don't even interview those churches that are actually bringing forth righteous people that are bringing forth people that actually do good in, in this world that th listen Hebrew Israelites they're not running around causing terror that's what they want you to believe because they want to they want to take our people away from the awakening that's what it is but they can't stop the awakening and that's why they're mad and I won't say that's the reason why all this is happening right now, but it's a but but it's it's definitely a good percentage as as far as why. All right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get right back to it. I gotta pick something up. Yeah, yeah. So like I was saying, right? New new world new world order. That's that, that's the that's the pure. That, sorry, not the pure. That's the main reason for all of this that's going on right now. They want to get everybody down with getting this mark of the beast so therefore they have control right because it's it, it, it is about control because it's not it's not all about money people think that everything's about money it's not about money because like once you have all the money you can have all the money in the world it will not bring you happiness it will not satisfy you you want to know why it doesn't satisfy you because you're you're always going to have that void and what by that void i mean that that void of pure peace because when you have understanding that's when you have peace understanding why you are here the reason why man and women were created not just to be fruitful and multiply and, and and populate the earth but to to also judge angels now i know that sounds crazy i know it sounds far-fetched but we weren't the one we, we weren't the first that were created right so if you read it it's not even just in, in in the Bible itself. There's other biblical texts where you can get a better understanding of this. But we weren't the first ones. It was obviously the angels that were created. But there were some angels that went off. So what God said is, I'm going to create a lower being or a lower version of you 
that will eventually judge you, right? That's when he gave Adam dominion over, over the world. But like you have read in Genesis, the serpent, the devil came in, interfered, and guess what? Who did, who did the serpent go to first? The serpent went to Eve. Who do you think the government is always peddling to when it comes to, you know, what America deems as the, the, the what was it called, the black community? They always pedal towards the woman, right? They always get the woman in, in inferior. They get her riled up and then they give all of her the benefits. They, they look out for her. You know, for my brothers out there, you've been to court. When you go to court or, 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 or say if you're in a domestic, dis, a, a, a domestic dispute, nine times out of 10, you're the one getting locked up and she could have been the one that went upside your head and knocked you over or whatever the situation is. You understand? Now, I know that's a very vague explanation as as far as, you know, what happened in the garden, but the devil always goes for our women. And as I've always mentioned, and I like I always will say, not no disrespect, but women, you are the weaker vessel because you respond more on emotion versus logic. It, it, it is what it is. And then, like I said, it's, it's no disrespect towards you. But like I said, it, you guys go with the emotion a lot of times versus the logic of times. Men, yeah, men do it sometimes too. But that's because men forgot who they were supposed to be. Men forgot how they're supposed to operate, right? Because women decided, well, we want to do what men do. And then men are like, well, if women are going to be, you know, doing all this, then you know what? I want to, you know what I mean? It's just like, it, it, it's becoming a tit for tat tug of war where we're getting off of, of, of our square, how we should be operating in this world. Because their, their main objective was to not only put the man against man, but to put the man against the black woman. That's why we're always at odds, right? So everything isn't the white man, but because of our disobedience, because of we because of us wanting to be rebellious and do what we want all the time and, and, and just and just live free and, and live for live right l l live free and let live because we want to do what we want to do the other nations were able to infiltrate us and they don't just do it busting down the doors especially like how they used to do it during during slavery times no they're doing it constructively strategically very very uh sneak like do you understand so i i've mentioned this in in other episodes before where the after martin luther king that whole civil rights movement that was in that was infiltrated malcolm x was infiltrated right the gangs that were in california that were originally to help protect the people they were infiltrated the black panthers were infiltrated Every single movement that what America deems as the black community tries to uh, come up with to help our people is infiltrated. And the reason why it's infiltrated is because we don't have God within our midst. We don't have Christ within our midst. We're too busy looking at another man as being our savior, our power. Oh, without him, this wouldn't no, no, no. It's not about man. It's about having God in the midst. It's about having Christ in the midst. That's what it's about. Because in Deuteronomy 28, it says that no man will save you. So that means Malcolm X was never going to be our savior. Martin Luther King was never going to be our savior. Savior. Marcus Garvey was never going to be our savior. The Black Panthers were never going to be our savior. Man cannot save us. That's why, and, 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 and I'm not going to discredit where, where we've, um, how far we've come today, but to be honest, it's really not that huge of an accomplishment, right? All they did was just get rid of the harsh reality of what slavery is and just put beautiful colors on it. So yeah, we're still in captivity. We're still in slavery, but it doesn't feel, you, you may go to work right and you may feel like oh you know like i kind of feel like i've been working like a slave yeah you have you have to understand that the construct that we're in 
is just slavery with a with with a bunch of beautiful colors. That's all it is. And regardless if you want to blame the white man or not, listen, the white man is is in it too. Right? The white man is in it too. Anyone who's not bowing down to Satan is living like a slave. So you could be mad at John all you want who 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 has his own plumbing business. You could be mad at Jimmy all you want who owns his own restaurant or owns a car dealership, whatever the situation is. But truth be told, a lot of these people who are in the, the high positions, they probably, not gonna say all of them, but most likely sold out to, to, to a certain degree, right? But it may not be all of them. I'm not gonna say that there aren't some people out there who really worked hard to get to where they need to be and they are successful. No, I'm not gonna say that. But what I'm saying is, as far as us as a whole, as a people, the reason why we don't own anything, the reason why we're not ahead or the head of, of all things, we don't own car dealerships, we don't own uh, Federal Reserve companies, we don't own banks, we don't own anything, right? Is because of the curse. Read Deuteronomy 28. And after you read that, read the whole Bible. And after you read the Bible, read the book of Jasher, read the book of Enoch, read the Apocrypha, read these biblical texts that your churches don't recommend to you. Read them, and then you'll see, and, 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 and if you don't understand, get a teacher. The best teacher I can recommend is you go to, you go to GOCC on YouTube, right? And watch the video, go to, go to um, what's it called? Hebrew Israelites for, for Beginners, go there. The truth is out there and they're trying to suppress it. And this whole campaign that's going on right now, that it's part of it. It's because our people are waking up. It's not it's not a huge conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy. Yes, this thing, listen, there's things that are going on out there. There's there's children getting kidnapped and adrenochrome being extracted from them. Pizza Gate is most likely real. You know what I'm saying? All, all, all that stuff that you've been hearing about most likely is real. But you want to know something? Just because you know that, it's not going to get you to the kingdom. It's not. Even knowing you're a Hebrew Israelite or knowing what the truth is when it comes to God and Christ and the Holy Spirit, that's not going to get you into the kingdom. And the reason why I'm saying or bringing up the kingdom, because that's the ultimate goal. Whatever you want to do in life, that's fine. But if your goal isn't to make it to the kingdom, whatever you do here on earth does not matter. I am sorry. And, and, and it's not to shoot down your dreams or anything like that. But yeah, you can be the world's best basketball player. You can be the world's best rapper, the best singer. You can, you know, be the first black man who, who played hockey. It don't matter. If you are not living righteously, if you are not following God's law, statutes, and commandments to the best ability that he will give you right and like i said I, I always say this i'm not perfect and i'm not saying i'd be following the most high's law statutes and commandments to a t but trust me i i do my i do my best i do what i can and i do fall short of the most high right like i said i'm not perfect but at the same time my people what you do on this earth does not matter what someone says to you on this earth does not matter what someone does to you on this earth does not matter. You, if, if someone disrespects you, if someone gets in your face, if someone, if someone puts their hands on you, obviously, uh, defend yourself. But don't go overboard. And with that being said, if someone says something to you, if someone feels some way about you, if someone steals from you, if someone, dis if, if someone crosses that line, you have nothing to prove to that person or anybody else. And that person, you shouldn't have to seek, you shouldn't seek your own justice. Because whatever you're gonna do that, to that person doesn't amount to what to the doesn't amount to what the most high would do to that person once they meet their judgment. So I know it's hard for us, especially Israel, especially the Hebrew Israelites, the Negroes of this land, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Haitians, the so-called Puerto Ricans, the so-called Cubans, the so-called uh, what is it called? Dominican Republic, uh, Dominicans, the so-called uh, Hawaiians, the so-called uh, what's it called? Native American Indians, all the people of color. 
all the people of color who've been scattered all over this world, you are part of the 12 tribes of Israel and the world does not want you to know that. They don't want you to know. And the reason why they don't want you to know is because they're giving you all these other titles and you're thinking just because you came from Cuba, oh, I'm a Cuban now. Oh, I came from Africa, so I'm African-American. When the white man came from Europe, but he's not a European-American, right? So we're given all these titles when the white man could just be a white man. The white man could just be John down the street. But if my name is John, oh no, I'm talking about African-American, I'm talking about black John, right? You have to understand the world has put a wool over your eyes to blind you from the truth. And like I said, the truth is in that Bible. The truth is out there and it's up to you to want to know what the truth is. The government's not going to tell you the truth. CNN's not going to tell you the truth. No, no major media outlet is going to tell you the truth. So don't just say, don't think just because it's not out there on a mass scale, right? Doesn't mean that it's the, it's not the truth. You know how you discern, uh, what's it called? A lie, a lie from a truth? This is how you discern. When someone's trying to cover it up, when someone automatically jumps to calling you a conspiracy theorist and tries to shut you up about it. When someone immediately tries to turn you away from, from the actual truth. That's how, that, that's how you can tell the difference right but listen uh, listen I, I can go on man I, I th th this is probably me just saving up a lot of th th no this is probably all the energy that I had stored up from not coming on here for so long listen I I appreciate for my subscribers still staying on to my page I appreciate the the, the, the views when it comes to the to the music videos and all that uh, not the music videos but the 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 beats and all that but listen I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back on my episode status. Right? I need to get the word out there. I need to be putting it forth because in a way, that was my way of picking up the plow and, and doing the work. So, um, man, I, I appreciate y'all. Bless y'all. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll get back. All right. Peace. And one last thing I wanted to say before I go. I may I may put out some articles and some uh, some scriptures out there as well. But listen, now's not the time to be getting divorced. Now's not the time to be alone. Listen, single women, there's there isn't any there there aren't any guys out there that are nice or whatever. Listen, wh whoever you got in the friend zone, just let them know. Listen, I don't I don't want to be with you, but you know, I, I need protection at this time because it's coming. You're gonna need protection, and. Not to say women can't protect themselves, but it's good to have a man around. So stop burning bridges. Stop getting emotional. You better hash out whatever you have, whatever type of beefs you have, especially with people. Because even if it's just even if you if it's just a group of women, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all can do some damage, but ha hash out whatever you have with people, right? Unless some unless that person is completely off and they're just wicked and wicked and toxic toxic individual. It's time to stop being petty. It's time to put little personal tidbits to the side. Because, listen, what, what's coming is way bigger than that. And that's the last thing I'm going to say. And I will touch more on that in the future. But that's the last thing I want.